Hello and welcome to the part three. In this part, we are gonna look into how to make those um, sparks. We're basically gonna create a simple generator for us for those shapes. Uh, I often use those uh, for, you know, for sparks or for some sort of ground impact if I want some dirt kicking out <clears throat> or some dust as well. Okay, so let me disable the fire and uh, and the light. As you can see here, we kind of getting those random shapes. Uh, let me increase the spawn rate. <clears throat> okay, so again, it's just, I think there are like four in the texture. It's a flip book that picks randomly one of the shapes and just spawn them. So just to, you know, add a bit more randomness to the fire uh, and not to use like a very simple dots. Okay, I think, you know, random shapes helps a lot with the, with the stylized look of it. Okay, so let's go to Substance now. So I'm gonna start with shape. I want this disc shape. Scale it a little bit down. And go to the tile sampler. And plug this one into the pattern input one. Use the pattern input here. And I'm just gonna go six by six random position and scale it way up uh, whoops here it is okay i'm just gonna copy and uh, paste this shape and plug this into the mask input and in here i actually want to use mask threshold which is here um, Invert it and see what happens if we actually want to increase the size now Okay, so as you can see we're kind of getting those uh, random stylized shapes, which is exactly what I want And now if you can just you know change the position of it You kind of getting those random shapes you can obviously invert the grayscale now And this could be our uh, uh, our texture so we could do in substance you can basically uh, create a transform here uh, copy paste uh, add in the blend node but you have to copy the tile uh, sampler as well if you don't want to go to Photoshop and now uh, let's maybe position this right here if you want exact value for be uh, 0.25 0.25 in here maybe i want to offset it to minus 2.5 and 2.5 and now i can go to this tile sampler change the position random and get a slightly different shape Okay, so that's the top row and you probably have to do the same thing for the bottom row and blend those two together with add and obviously in the transform you'll have to offset this on the y-axis to minus 0.25 and here as well to minus 0.25 and now Obviously, we want the bottom row to have different shapes. So go to position random and try to get a bit different shape. Okay, just make sure those shapes are varied and they're not exactly the same. You can even play with the scale, but I'll leave the scale to the particle system uh, to, you know, vary it basically. Okay, basically you can make this mask texture and erode it over time in the engine to create either sparks, dust or uh, maybe even a ground uh, kicking up with your explosions or some sort of uh, impact. All right, so again, it's just very short tutorial, just trying to give you an idea how I create those in case you, uh, you're curious or basically you, 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 know, you don't know how to uh, make this on your own 
So I hope you're gonna continue your journey with Substance. I hope you really enjoy those because uh, I'm getting, uh, I feel like I'm getting better and better every day uh, with Substance by just, you know, going and creating random shapes uh, for even half an hour per day. And uh, it's just, you know, expand my skills and I, I'll, I am able to create uh, various textures uh, a lot more quicker. And I've got like, a, already you can see here, some ready setups. So if I want some uh, pattern, I can just pick one of those, manipulate the values and I've got the, the different look uh, straight away, which I can use in, for my effects. So it's just, you know, going there, trying to figure out how to make certain patterns or textures and then just tweaking values. And obviously if you need to add uh, final touches, you can do it in uh, Photoshop. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, if you create something, feel free to send me because I would love to see what you can uh, create with your own uh, particle systems. All right, thanks a lot.